What's going on guys? It's me Pavin. And if you guys are looking to improve your Madden game and want to learn firsthand from someone who's made deep runs in the Madden $750,000 club championship tournament, I'm your guy. I recently just dropped my New York Jets offensive ebook and alongside that is my game plan for additional $10. So my offensive ebook is $20, game plan 30, game plan you get a couple defensive setups and I will be updating both these ebooks, both these game plans as the year goes on. Really great offer. The link will be down in the description. Go check it out, 818madden.com. I know this will make you a better Madden player. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my favorite series. Hopefully your guys' favorite series, Tip Tuesday. We're finally back. It's been a minute, guys. Um, obviously wanted to share some, uh, excuse me, hold some of the, my knowledge for, you know, clubs and all that. But, you know, now it's kind of that content wave, you know, a lot of free time. And, you know, there are still tournaments. For example, the Madden Classic, you know, these tips today will help you for the Madden Classic. If you are still in it, let me know down below if you fought how you did over the weekend. If you're ready for next weekend, um, I definitely am. And basically today we're gonna to be breaking down how I like to run my match coverage out of you know three through five wide and just in general um this these things are uh, universal for formations but in my opinion I like three through five wide the best. So if you guys want to see more Tip Tuesdays, more videos like this, share, like, subscribe, comment down below. I also did just drop my New York Jets offensive ebook plus my game plan which includes my ebook couple defensive setups which i update weekly i'm gonna be doing some weekly updates so if you guys already have that make sure to check it soon um and i'll make sure to let you guys know with all that taken care of let's get into the video guys so guys i'm gonna be breaking down you know it's not gonna be too much of a long video uh but this is just basics of you know match and how it works so you know first things first we're just gonna run it versus bunch a couple times um and hopefully they have flood if they don't have flood that'd be kind of wild and they do every playbook has flat so this is literally the perfect example give me one second guys let me sub my guys in guys this is kind of how i like to set up my personnel with the packers and also let me know what team you guys like to use in regs um got josh jackson kevin king up top there was a little uh article slash you know uh, uh threshold uh exposure that someone i think his name was deuce close posted i'll make sure to post a tweet while i'm talking but um he said that if you have under 70 man coverage, under 80 was uh, actually, I believe, you're going to be able to match onto crossers really, really well. I haven't done too much labbing on that, but I can definitely see that being true. It's really weird. Usually, you want higher to, you know, be play better, but in this case, it's lower to play better. So that's why I use Kevin King and Josh Jackson up top because Amos does have 80 man and then obviously Jair does as well. Um, this is my personnel. So I like Perry on the outside. He's very fast, 95 speed. Kevin King, 74 overall, but he's tall. Josh Jackson, 72, but he has, you know, nice speed. Jair's a dog. Hallman is all right. And then I got Amos Savage outside. And I use their Will Redmond with Rashawn Gary, Kenny Clark, and Zedarius. And this, like I said, this is going to be kind of short video. I'm just going to be breaking it down formation by formation. Um, so here it is, Flood. And this is what not to do with match. Uh, Personally, you can run it a stock a lot of the times, but um, you know, I'll just show you guys. Uh, if you leave this quarter here, guys, sometimes, a lot of the times, he's gonna get glitched out. Uh, I'll not do it on the first play and show you kind of how it looks like. Hopefully my controller works. There we go. This is simply just a, a nice match coverage. This is what I like to do with uh, this blitzing linebacker. You could either put him in a vert hook, put him in a hard flat, put him in a purple, man him up to anyone or put them in a spy. I'll do one of the three, basically anything with them. Um, my favorite things to do are probably a vert hook, purple, maybe obviously hard flat, and then I'd probably like to cross man them or even man them up, because Savage and Amos, they have really good man, and they could get glitchy with the man coverage. And then, um, you know, for the sake of the video, I'll just put them in a spy, and then obviously I like to use a red man. So this is match. I know uh, mud is really good for man, uh, regs zones suck and you can't really run man so matches it a little bit both and it's really really glitchy guys if you are having trouble getting stops on defense run this match coverage you see right there everything is pretty much bagged up um, and that was stock match you could get away with running that guys but I highly recommend you don't because people know kind of how to beat it for example right here I'm gonna make sure to respot the ball so I have more space if you leave that if you leave this quarter right here I'll show you guys what zone I'm talking about uh, if you leave this guy right here kind of in this quarter zone uh, he's gonna get bombed and I'll show you what I mean right now it's so right here we're gonna put 
we're just gonna run stock flood and you could do this out of a lot of plays i bet but for the most part i know stock flood works the most and rugs is too easy he's out of there and that's a touchdown shot of my dude rugs so um to prevent that guys there's two things you could do at, a, at least for bunch uh one of the two is either put him in a deep half it's really simple um or you put him in a third so i personally like the third better it plays uh better a middle third obviously deep half is going to be more safer but third is all pretty safe and also if you really want to you could just man up savage or you know you can man up this slot cornerback but you know we'll we'll maybe save that for another day that might be a little too complicated so right here we're gonna try the same bomb and it's really in my opinion it shouldn't work and yeah it's just not open right there and everything still matched on man really really well so um there that is a simple simple setup for bunch is literally that uh just you can run match stock um but i highly recommend put this guy in the inside third spy him do whatever and then obviously mix this in this is not an every down defense guys i highly recommend you don't run this every down but yeah so we'll run it one more time for you guys and we'll show you what's up so everything pretty much matched on right here and you know i could throw that but it's a it's a knockout and you know that's not even like the goons of, of regs that we have you know you could use better players better secondary but for the most part i feel like the packers are very fast and really reliable the next thing i kind of want to do fast um it's something i've been labbing a lot guys i think i've had some success with it and it's very very early in this man this is kind of glitchy in my opinion this is what, what i like to do versus trips or like even bunch tight end i'll slap on mana line if i'm playing it and just notice how match goes versus like these crossers etc etc i was doing this video yesterday and it was very late and i kind of had a brain uh I guess you could say brain fart my like I, I didn't even turn on mana line and like these crossers are running wide open hopefully it doesn't happen today but you know if you are running verse trips um you can do the same exact thing i like to shift my defense to the left so i don't have you know any run uh, running holes i could literally shoot this inside zone from right here um but you know you could put this guy in a third to prevent the bomb or even i accidentally messed up i gotta put him in this quarter zone right here there we go um or you could put this kind of third right here and from there you know we could get adjust deep but for the most part that's the base setup um and yeah hopefully this crosser does get matched on to uh, it wasn't getting matched on to yesterday for some reason and i guess that play is just glitchy or broken but there is a way you could defend that but let me just go into another play boys and i'll show you what i mean um that play definitely looks nice i have i haven't labbed too much against trips but i definitely will in that play for sure it looks like a problem but like let, let's just say curl flat and you know curl flat is a meta play right now guys slap on mana line and make your adjustments once more you could do anything with this guy a couple things i like to do versus trips is man up circle obviously rugs is probably going to torch him so i'll just put him in a vert hook for now and lastly probably just third this guy right here and hopefully curl flat does get matched on to guys um let's see what's going on right here and we get an insta shed but for the most part it did get matched on to we'll try it one more time and guys i don't remember this like i said this is not an every down defense but you definitely can run this quite a bit um it's just really effective to run and always remember her guys like you do have your user that you could uh run around and guard some of these routes so highly recommend you practicing this quite a bit before you actually run it and like i said that's rugs but i mean that's josh jackson kind of keeping up with them and that is curl flat you could still kind of throw that but like i said you know if you make adjustments for example let's man up savage display and uh, i'm gonna put this kind of inside there let's see what happens right here boom 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 and you know i could still probably throw that but like i said that is savage against uh, henry rugs so there's a lot you could do out of trips and i'm still learning it and if i do find a nice bag it will be updated on my ebook um got a couple more days before the classic starts so definitely gonna be in the lab a lot and like i said man you could do a lot of things with match uh for trips and all obviously if when in doubt since i am in mana line you can always run man shade underneath shade outside and get really glitchy with that so there it is guys cover four show two i feel like it's a really underrated defense especially in regs if you guys are having trouble buying stops you guys should i highly recommend you guys run this right here we're gonna run it one more time 
and just notice it's a nice match back curl flat gets matched onto uh the curl was open but in hindsight i probably would have just ran back to user it show a little replay and we'll bounce out of here guys right here curl flat boom gets matched onto uh you have this spy i probably if in hindsight I probably would have put him in a purple and he would have guarded this curl let's see right here boom 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 and there it is guys that's cover four show two match out of 55 wide uh, you know, like I said, it's not every play down, but I highly recommend mixing it in and it will definitely, you'll definitely see people kind of get slowed down with it. Catch you guys in the next video, the next Tip Tuesday. If you enjoy this, please smash that like button, turn on notifications. See you guys soon. Much love. Stay safe. Stay blessed.